Welcome to Rugby Basics, your number one rugby channel where we discuss everything you need to know about rugby. So when the ball goes into touch, a line-out takes place. So a line-out is just a means of restarting the game when the ball goes into touch. The line-out will never be closer than 5 meters from the touchline and it will never be further away than 15 meters from the touchline. Also, there is a minimum gap of one meter that needs to be maintained. And if you enter that gap or jump into or over that gap, a free kick will be given against your team. When the lineup is formed eventually, then you have to have the same amount of numbers than the throwing team. So if you are the non-throwing team, you have to have the same amount of players in the lineup as the throwing team, or you can have less so if they have five players in the lineout you also have to have five or less then if you are the non-throwing team there has to be a player within the five meter line and the touch line this counts for both teams you are only allowed one receiver so the Argentinian team on the right hand side they have two receivers you are only allowed one receiver this rule counts for both teams the lineout is about to start you are not allowed to join the lineout so get your numbers ready from the start so in this case the receiver joined the lineout and then another player has to immediately swap with her so there has to be a receiver there but the free kick here was that she joined the line out as it was about to start so they changed their numbers and you're not allowed to do that the line out, when the hooker or the thrower throws the ball in as they are about to throw the ball in then you are allowed to jump you're not allowed to jump before the ball has not been thrown and you're not allowed to do that if you take a look at the thrower remember that the throwers both their feet has to be behind the touch line when they throw the ball in also make sure to throw the ball right down the middle if the ball goes passes the jumpers outside of his head on the outer side of his head that is Q also if the ball goes to the non throwing non-throwing team's jumper on the outside of their head but also skew. Then when the throwing team throws the ball in, the ball has to pass the 5 meter line. So earlier we mentioned that the line will not be closer than 5 meters, the ball has to pass that 5 meter line. Also when you attempt to make the throw, you have to throw the ball in. Even if your guys messed up the call, you have to throw the ball. You're not allowed to mock or to pretend that you're going to throw. So the line out has started at the moment the ball leaves the thrower's hands. So at this moment, the thrower and the thrower, the thrower's immediate opponent are allowed a few things. The other may join the line out, retire to the offside line, which is 10 meters back, stay within 5 meters of the touch line and that 5 meters from the touch, or they are allowed to move to the receiver's position if that is not occupied. So once the ball leaves the thrower's hand, anyone in the line out can compete for the ball. So when you compete for the ball, you're allowed to catch or deflect it with only with your outside hand. Also make sure to bring the player down safely. When you picked up to jump for the ball, make sure to bring that player down safely. Then for safety reasons, you're not allowed to play the player in the air. So even if it was an accidental bump or a shove, you're not allowed to play the player in the air or grab them. But you are allowed to play the ball in the air. So when you jump and you compete for the, for the ball in the air, you're not allowed to touch the player, but you're allowed to grab and hold on to the rugby ball. Are offside if the lineout is not over and you have crossed the middle section of the lineout. So in this case, this number 19 is 
springbok play across the middle section of the line and the liner is not over yet. And any other player that's not part of the line out has to remain 10 meters behind the liner. If the line out is not over yet, you're not allowed to run forward. So only if the line out is over, then you are allowed to come forward. Only now the line out has ended and that play on the left hand side has already run a meter. So he's offside. So the line out is over the moment the player takes the ball and runs away from the line out. The line out is also over when the ball is deflected in the air or thrown from the air. Then the line out is over. The line out is also over when the ball passes the 15 meter line at the back. And also the line out is over when a mall was formed and it, had, and it moved forward a meter or a meter backwards. Not side to side, it has to travel a meter forward or back. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And also leave us a comment down below how we can help you. So thank you for now and until the next one.